Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we saw the release of iOS 11.2 Beta 1 to developers. And if you're a public beta tester, there will probably be a public beta for you within the next week or so, more likely within a couple of days. But this is really interesting because if you haven't noticed already, iOS 11.1 has not been publicly released at the time of making this video. For whatever reason, Apple really wanted to push out iOS 11.2 today rather than waiting for the final release of iOS 11.1, which is also expected to come sometime later this week. But let's go ahead and jump in to what's new in iOS 11.2. First up, if we head over to the settings app and go over to the wallpaper and stills preference panel, you can see that the iPhone 8 slash iPhone 10 marketing wallpapers have been added for older iPhones. Now, I've seen some reports saying that not everyone using an older device on iOS 11 is getting these. I assume it would be for devices like the iPhone 6, 6s, and 7, in addition to the iPhone 8 that has already had these wallpapers. But as always, I want to hear your thoughts about these down below. If you're not on iOS 11.2 yet, you can check out the blog post post link down below. I have these over on my website. You can download them there for free. I think they look pretty cool. I'm really excited to see what exclusive wallpapers will be shipping with the iPhone 10. But for now, the iPhone 8 wallpapers are available for a lot more people than they were before. Next up and also inside of the settings app, if we head over to general and accessibility, this entire preference panel has been rearranged and reorganized. Rather than being divided into a lot of different subcategories like it was before, all of these toggles uh, that changed the first two big sections here are now categorized under vision and interaction. So things like voiceover, zoom, magnifier, display accommodations, those are all listed under vision, where other things like switch control, assisted touch, and touch accommodations are listed under interaction. The bottom two or three portions of the accessibility preference panel have not changed. They are identical to how they look in iOS 11.0.3, but the first two sections have been rearranged and they look a little bit different now. One other change inside of the settings app in iOS 11.2 is that under the podcast preference panel, the option for continuous playback has been re introduced to iOS 11. For whatever reason, Apple removed this in a previous version of iOS 11. I think during the beta cycle it was removed, and they didn't replace it in iOS 11.0.3 or iOS 11.1 to my knowledge. But in iOS 11.2, if you use the Stock Podcast app to listen to your podcast, it'll now automatically go to the next episode in a series of podcasts rather than making you do it manually. Moving back to the home screen, the calculator math glitch has been fixed in iOS 11.2. You probably saw a video of this. Here's one on screen in case you haven't already, where if you did 1 plus 2 plus 3 and then hit the equal sign really quickly, it would say that 1 plus 2 plus 3 equaled 24 because it was adding 1 plus 23 because the animation for the addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division icons was just too slow and it didn't register that you were saying 1 plus 2 plus 3, it took it as 1 plus 23. When I was 11.2, Apple has shortened that animation and corrected it so you can do 1 plus 2 plus 3, 7 plus 8 plus 9 and get the correct math answers rather than getting something like 7 plus 89 or 1 plus 23, which is nice if you're somebody who does math really quickly. It was kind of a funny bug in the first place, but it's been corrected. Next up in iOS 11.2, if you quickly double click on the power button, your device is no longer going to shut off like it did before. This is probably because this is how you activate Apple Pay on the iPhone 10. They've brought that to all devices as of right now in iOS 11.2 beta 1, but it doesn't do anything. It just acts like it's going to lock the phone, and then when it registers that you hit the lock button one more time, it realizes that you don't want to shut off the the screen and it leaves you in the same spot that you were before. I really hope that in the future Apple gives us the ability to remap this button or remap this action to do something different than just go to Apple Pay or not do anything. Like imagine being able to quickly double tap and go to the camera app or launch up Twitter if that was one of the favorite apps that you used on your phone. I think that'd be really handy and something for Apple to think about in the future. Moving on in Control Center in iOS 11.2 if you 3D touch on the music widget and you have an Apple TV connected to the same network. I was not able to recreate this but a number of users have been reporting that Apple TVs now show up when you do this. And finally, the question that you've probably been wondering this entire time, is Apple Pay Cash, peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay, present in iOS 11.2? And the answer is still no. Apple has not communicated when they are releasing this feature. For the longest time, we thought it would be included in iOS 11.1, but it still is not present in iOS 11 beta 5, which is the most recent version of that firmware at the time of recording this video. However, if you go into Siri and you tap on the little question mark in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, there is a section in here that references sending money to other people. If you actually ask Siri a question like, hey Siri, send this person so much money using Apple Pay, 
this is what comes up. It says, sorry, that feature isn't available due to your device settings or region. So it's like it's in iOS 11.2, but it's just not enabled yet. This comes courtesy of a Reddit user. It's fascinating. It's like the feature is ready to go, but Apple continues to hold off on releasing it. And we don't know why. Other than all of those changes, iOS 11.2 feels really smooth and stable so far. I was impressed. It doesn't feel buggy or glitchy like most beta ones do. And that's probably because we've gone through three minor updates, iOS 11.0.1, 11.0.2, .1, 11 .2, and 11.0.3. 11.1 is coming soon. So it should be pretty smooth on the fifth-ish consecutive update, which would be iOS 11.2. That is everything you should know about iOS 11.2 beta 1 right now. If you enjoyed this video, as always, it does help me out if you drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos on iOS 11.2 in the future. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in the next one.